Earth-Mars synchronization happens roughly every two years. So every two years there's a, an opportunity to, to fly to Mars. Uh, so then in 2024, uh, we want to try to fly four ships. Uh, two of which would be crewed, and two, of which, two, two cargo and, and two, two crew. Um, the, the goal of, 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 the, uh, of these initial missions is to, is to find the best source of water. That's for the first mission. And then the second mission, the goal is to build the, the propellant plant. So we should, uh, with, particularly with six ships, there uh, have plenty of landed mass to construct the propellant depot, uh, which will consist of a large array of solar panels, very large array, um, and then everything necessary to mine and refine uh, water, and then draw the CO2 out of the atmosphere, uh, and then create and store uh, deep cryo CH4 and O2. Then build up the base, starting obviously with one, one ship, then multiple ships, then start building out the city, then making the city bigger, <laughs> even bigger. You send the spaceship up to orbit, you retank it or refill it until it has full tanks, um, and um, it travels to Mars, lands on Mars, um, for Mars, you will need local propellant production. But Mars has a CO2 atmosphere and plenty of water ice. That gives you CO2 and H2O. So you've got, you can make, therefore, CH4 and O2 um, using the Sabatier process. Becoming a multi-planet species. Who's the hell out of being a single-planet species? <laughs>